Hello, and welcome to the Allegheny Arts Council's Art On Demand. My name is Bobby Croft, and I am a local artist and art educator that will lead you through this month's lesson. In this lesson, we're going to create paper collage animals inspired by the work of Charlene Neald. For this project, you're going to need colored construction paper, a pencil, something to add color to your project with or to create pattern with. I'm using oil pastel, but you can use crayon, you could use colored pencil, you can use marker, a pair of scissors, and a glue stick or a bottle of glue. For this project, we are going to create artworks of animals. So we're going to create an animal, and to do that we're going to create our animals using a technique called collage. Collage is when an artist will use various sheets of paper, either that they draw on, or that they find in magazines or newspapers or other printed medias that they will cut out and then glue down all together to create an artwork. So we're going to create an animal uh, using this collage technique. And for the first step of our project, each piece of paper that we're going to use for our project, we're going to create um, a pattern on. So using the colored construction paper and whatever material that you want to use to add color, you're going to create a pattern on each piece of paper that you will use. So a pattern is something that repeats over and over. So stripes are lines that are repeat over, over and over and over. Polka dots are circles that repeat over and over. So you're going to create different patterns on your pieces of paper. So you don't want to repeat the same pattern over and over. So for this pattern, I'm going to create stripes. And then using a different color, so maybe blue, I'm going to create polka dots. Maybe in every other stripe. So have fun with this. There's no right or wrong pattern that you could use for your project. So experiment and try different, different patterns out for, for your project. For the second step of your project, you're going to take the pieces of paper that you created the patterns on and you're going to draw the individual shapes of your animal. So you can do whatever animal you want. You can create whatever animal you want. So you're going to think about how can I break that animal down into simple shapes that I can draw and then cut out and then glue together to create that animal. So for this, I'm going to think about the various shapes of my animal. So the, the animal I'm going to be creating is a bird. So I'm going to create the body of the bird from this piece of paper. So I'm going to draw what I think the body of a bird would look like. Now keep in mind that you're going to use a different piece of paper for each part of the bird, or for the animal that you're creating. So uh, you'll use one piece of paper for the body, one piece of paper for the legs, one piece of paper for the head, and you're going to put them together to create your animal. Once you have the shape drawn onto your paper, you're then going to use a pair of scissors and carefully cut it out. Now keep in mind, if you need help cutting out your paper, ask an adult to help you. And with the scrap paper, you can recycle it for later. You're gonna repeat this step for all the individual pieces or parts of your animal. You're going to sit each part aside until you're ready to construct and put them together to create your animal artwork. Now that you have the individual pieces or parts of your animal created using construction paper with pattern drawn on them, uh, you're going to be able to construct and put them together to create your image. And as you can tell, I have a pretty good start here. So each one of these individual pieces of my bird, I have drawn uh, on a piece of construction paper after I added the pattern, and then I've cut out uh, and glued together. So now I'm going to show you how to kind of finish this up. So I have a few more things to add using construction paper, and then we're going to do final details. 
So, a collage, as we've talked about, is an artwork where an artist will use various pieces of paper that have been cut out and glued together. So, for to finish my collage, I'm going to add two leaves, both with a pattern on them, off to the edge of my paper. So now that I have them cut out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a generous amount of glue on the back of the paper so that they will stick together. So I'm going to glue that leaf there. I'm going to make sure I press down nice and hard so that the leaf won't fall off later. I'm going to do the same with this leaf. So now that I have all of the pieces of paper glued together, now I can go back and use the same material that I used to create my patterns earlier to add detail. So I want to add feet, I want to add eyes, other little details that I want. So I'm going to use my black oil pastel, or if you're using marker or color pencil, it's completely up to you. And I'm going to add an eye to my bird. And then maybe I will add a few hints of texture in the feathers. Or maybe down here, I'll add some hints of texture. And then I'm going to switch to maybe a yellow gold. Let's see if a yellow gold will show up to add the feet. Now keep in mind, this is your artwork, so you can add as many details as you want uh, to your artwork, make this your own, and when you're finished, sign it so that the world knows who created it. And there you have your very own collage animal. We really hope that you've enjoyed this lesson, and we would really love to see the work that you have created. Please use the information on the screen to send us a photo of your work. We hope to see you next month when we learn how to draw from observation.